Overall, we didn't come out our performing our best game as a whole. From the offensive line perspective, like we'll take the responsibility for that game. Like I think we got held to 50 yards rushing or something like that, and that's just unacceptable from our from our standpoint. The coaching staff preaches uh, three things: um, do your job, toughness, finish. And it, as you can see in the other games that we won and we've been successful, we've did all three of those things. New Hampshire, we didn't come out doing our job. That's why we only scored six points. In previous games, we've been scoring 30 or whatever. You can't score 30 points playing how we played. So I don't think it was really like we got beat. We got, we didn't really get beat by them. Like we beat ourselves more than anything. It was just, it was a rough game. It was a rough Saturday. We're not gonna let that game define us this year. You can't let it define you. I mean, you played one bad game. Everybody plays a bad game throughout the season. And this game, we couldn't, we couldn't find a way to win. So that was definitely Definitely the thing that bothered us the most this week, but why not us this week going into JMU? Being an underdog is something that we've always been, uh, probably gonna continue to be, and it just allows us to focus on ourselves, not uh, who we're playing, what the score is gonna be, uh, just what we have to do personally to achieve the goals that we wanna do. You're forcing the football off the edge, you got that? You're going inside, inside. Here, go, go, here. Go. Pull back the seat, wait, wait, wait. Here, here. Do a first footwork. All right, but I'm getting a vertical push here. And if I have my, my hand here, where I can torque it, all right, that's enough, enough strength that I got, I can snap it out of the way. All right, okay. All right, one more time. One more time. I mean, it's not about how the other team plays, it's about how we play. Last week, we didn't play our best game, but this week is a new opportunity. And he always says, this week's the most important game because it's the next one. And that's kind of the mindset we've had this week from an offense. We gotta get better and just do our jobs better than JMU does. I mean, they're a good team. They're a really good team. Number one defense in the nation right now. Uh, D-line's really good. All around, they're just a good defense. But, I mean, they're going to be they're gonna be in a tough situation playing against us from an offense, offensive standpoint. I mean, they haven't seen our offense, how it's been. Going into a game, being the underdog, we've really thrived on that all year. Like. No one projected us to be playing for conference championship. We were projected to finish second to last in the conference, I think. Last year we were the worst team in the conference. So playing for a conference championship, that's huge for us. Given this opportunity, it just shows us that the hard work we've been putting in the last two years, the last year, the last six months since the coaches got here, it's all paying off. So I think the team's really excited to go out there and show everybody what we're made of. I mean, even if no matter the score, I think everybody just has to go out there, do their job, have fun, and see what happens. Let's 
Everybody's saying, all the coaches are saying, why not us? Why shouldn't we be here? I mean, no one projected us to be here in the first place. So why can't we go out there and beat JMU for conference championship? One week, coach said, we have to love playing with the people beside us more than we hate the people we're playing against. So that stuck with me for the remainder of the season, knowing that regardless of who I'm facing or who we're playing as a team, that I got my teammates back and that they got my back. The regular season home finale and the regular season finale as Elon falls to James Madison by the count of 31 to 3. And then the setback this afternoon to the defending national champs who run the win streak, the best in college football, to 23 straight. Welcome to the NCAA FCS Football Championship Selection Special. Hey, and welcome to the FCS Selection Show. And welcome to Matt Schick along with Reedy Angolia, former All-American running back at UMass. You guys have experienced a day like this back in the day. What's it like? Your whole fate for the rest of your college football career is in the selection committee. More than likely, you're not going to face a team that's in your conference, so it's pretty exciting, but you're nervous at the same time. But you, at the end of the day, you want to make sure your name is called. A lot of teams will be feeling those emotions uh, throughout the day and throughout this next hour. The football program, they're legit, and Sanford has been a rising program over the past couple years. This is the wild ride. Kevin Hodges, Kelvin McKnight there, that offense for Sanford. Moving on down, Elon Phoenix out of the Colonial. They will host the Furman Paladins out of the Southern Conference. Their 17th appearance. They won the national championship all the way back in 1988. Elon has never won a Division I playoff game. They were in the playoffs in 2009, <clears throat> played Richmond and lost. All right? Part of our motivation is to be the first team in school history to win a Division I playoff game. Okay? We take care of that goal, we'll set the goal for the next week. We straight? Congratulations. <laughs> And we at the crib. No, I'm saying it's a dog.